Today was a day four and a half years in the making. A judge formally pronounced a sentence of death on Robert Bowers, who has been convicted in the killings of 11 worshipers from three congregations at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh on October 27, 2018. Today, family members of the victims, as well as survivors of the attack, got to testify and offer their statements about the impact, the losses, the trauma that they suffered since the attack. At the same time, they spoke of their resilience and of their determination to live out the Jewish faith and values that the killer held in such contempt. This, as you said, is the first opportunity we've had to express our own personal views and tell about the impact this has had on us personally. Up till now, because the prosecution did not want to taint anything in any way to open up the opportunity for a mistrial, they really had to be careful what we would answer to. But today we were able to say what was on our mind, and that was very cathartic for us. You know, we are going to continue as groups of survivors, and I'm sure that as victims' families, we'll continue to meet, and we will continue to commemorate the lives of those that we lost, and the opportunities that were lost. This is the first execution that has been imposed by a judge since the Biden administration imposed a moratorium on carrying out the death penalty. That has not, however, prevented capital prosecutions from taking place for executions that might take place in the future. In a way, it's kind of a relief for us to know that now this phase of everything is behind us and that we can really more or less move on from here. We know there will be appeals and other things that come up, but this really gives us the opportunity to get back to our everyday lives.